But what up folks, it's Alex here. Now I know you guys have been loving the DaVinci Resolve Transitions tutorials, so I figured I'd put together a Transitions pack for you all. Some of you asked for it, so here it is. And the Transitions included look a little something like this. Ta -da! So there it is. Now, a few details I've just got to cover really quickly. The price, first of all, completely free. You can download it from the description down below. However, if you enjoy it and you want to give me a bit of a donation, there's a few links down below where you can donate a few quid to me for the effort. But don't feel like you have to. It's completely voluntary. Links are there if you feel like donating a few quid. Number two, there's no audio. I've put no audio, no sound bites, no sound effects within these transitions at all, and that's for two really important reasons. Number one, I can't make them adjustment clips. If I include sound, you have to do all different things, and it was a bit of a pain, so I figured it was easier to do it without those at all. And then number two, licensing. Being able to license them and get sound effects, I have to buy sound effects that I'm able to sort of resend out as just a big thing, Blah, not worth the effort. So what I have done is put a couple of links down below for some websites where you can go and download some sound effects to use with these transitions. The one in particular, there's a pack of 150 whoosh transitions in one pack, it's entirely free, link is down below. They are the sound effects you've just heard in that little demonstration there. So enough of all that, quick video to show you how to install and use these transitions. So once you've downloaded the file, browse to the folder where it's located, maybe your downloads folder for example, and you'll see a Mr. Alex Tech Transitions.zip. First of all, we just need to extract that or unzip it, and you'll end up with a Mr. Alex Tech Transitions folder, and within there, you've got a DRP file. This is a DaVinci Resolve Projects file, and we just need to import that into Resolve. So open up DaVinci Resolve until you're on your Project Manager screen like so, and then all we're doing, right-click on any empty space, and click on Import Project. Browse to the folder where you just unzipped that DRP file, and you should see it there. Click to highlight it and then open or simply double click. After a few moments, you should see a Mr. Alex Tech Transitions project open on this project manager. Double click it to open the project itself. After a few moments, DaVinci Resolve will open and you should see in the media pool, you've got a bunch of different folders. So we've got the transitions folder itself and within there we've got film roll, whip, spin and zoom. These were the different categories of transitions. Now what I recommend you do is import these into a power bin so they're available to you from any other project. So if you don't know what power bins are, click on the link above. I've made a video about those in the past. But the quick version, click on view, scroll down and make sure that the show power bins is selected. I've got them here, power bins and then master. And then all we're doing is dragging the transitions folder from the media pool down into master. And now we've got master and then we've got transitions. So now any project we have open within DaVinci Resolve, those transitions will be there ready for us to apply. Now to actually apply the transitions is dead easy. Go to your power bin, go to transitions, select the category that you want. I'm going to select spin. You should see a list of the transitions. If they look like this, so you've got the thumbnail view like so and you can't quite read all the titles, just click on this button here to see them as a list view and you can see exactly what they are. If I grab this one here, which is a corner spin bottom left clockwise, all I'm doing is dragging it onto my timeline and just putting it above the point where the two clips meet. Now there's no markers unfortunately, so you just have to make sure they're lined up like so, and then if you just hit play, it looks something like that. Now if you're struggling to get these to play smoothly, a quick tip for you, click on playback, Go to render cache and change that to smart and it should help because DaVinci Resolve will actually render the clip for you. Now as previously mentioned, there's no audio included with these transitions for a variety of reasons. But a quick tip for you, something I like to do to make life easier. Where it says transitions in your power bin, right click and click on add bin. So you can add an additional bin in here. Call it audio or sounds or whatever you want to call it. So I've got audio there now. And then once you've found and downloaded some audio files you want to use, make sure they're stored in a decent location, i.e. not within your downloads folder or somewhere where you're going to delete them or they're going to get moved because they need to stay consistent. So I've put them on my D drive here. 
And then we can just drag them all into this new audio power bin and they're ready for me whenever I want to add them to a transition. So if I just come down, I'll grab this one here. I can just drag it onto my timeline underneath the transition. And now we've got the audio to go with the effect. And that's it folks. Hope it was useful. Hope you like the transitions. Feel free to play with them, amend them, change them, send them on, do what you like with them. Obviously feel free to use them, drop them on any projects, but also click on them, click on the Fusion tab, and then have a look at how they work. Hopefully you might learn something from there as well. Thumbs up if you liked the video, comment down below. If there's any more transitions you wanna see, anything else you want me to do, pop them down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this transition pack. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye.